end around. And they give the ball to Josh Fleeks. They feel they can't wait to do that. Brewer flushed out and delivers a high throw. He's off the hand. Sooners don't come after him. Only a three-man rush, but they still get him. Ronnie Perkins off the edge, and the Sooners do get a stop. Well, Casey Phillips, the left tackle right here, just cannot deal with the athletic ability and the speed around the edge. Just does not do a good job of getting back, getting lateral and using, and maybe under, undervalued, under underappreciated. So they'll have their opportunity along with Charleston Rambo. Brooks again with a stiff arm and muscles his way for a gain. It's a win to get him to third down, right? Bears grab the line, come after Hurts on third down. The blitz is picked up and the pass is caught. Different guys will have to step up. That's A.D. Miller as they move the sticks. Watch Jalen Hurts. Hitch, hitch, ball is out. Great timing. Ball is actually out early before the veteran A.D. Miller even comes out of his break. Jalen Hurts early in this game, just settling in, felt good on that throw on that third down and long, had time to be able to see it and deliver the ball accurately. Brooks again, turns the corner, and bangs down for another first step, averaging about 250 a game on the ground. Hurts slings it, and the catch is made by Nick Basquin, a freshman kicker who takes over for Austin Cyber, the all-time Big 12 leading scorer. This from 39 yards to remain perfect on the season. And it will go just inside the upright offense. They go with a different formation, a two-back look. And handoff inside to Ramondre Stevenson, a big physical player. But success, pick up a couple first downs, get better field position, try to get their confidence back. Hertz keeps it, gets to the edge. When in doubt, dives down for a first down near the 18-yard line. They fake it to Brooks. Hertz delivers, and the catch made on the sideline there by A.D. Miller. What answers can Jalen Hertz have? They swing it to Stevenson out of the backfield, and Big Man shows a nice burst. I feel like he's ready for a big stretch run. And Hurts into the clear, shedding tackles, slides down in Baylor territory at the 45, but the Sooner is trying to strike back quickly. Yeah, a good read here. Watch him read the defensive end. He kind of stays on this ride. Watch how long he rides here to get this man to commit down. Once he commits down, he pulls it. Now he's outside with blockers. Good job by the receiver. Hurts from the pocket this time delivers a high throw. Nick Basquin. And I think swaggered in here as 10-point favorites, feeling this was going to be their night. Kennedy, because he earned those three targetings. Hertz has good protection, but just takes off. It's one read and go, and why not when you can do that out near midfield? They've worked themselves back into this game. Second and seven, Hertz from the pocket, delivers a long throw. And the catch is made there by Lee Morris. Three-man rush on second and ten, so Hurts decides to run it, and he'll muscle for about five. That's their first penalty tonight. Sooners in a two-back look, but Hurts keeps it. He has a couple blocks on the edge. Here's a guy that had 19 tackles in the win over TCU. Brooks inside. Hurts has time. Zips it. Touchdown. Catch made in traffic by Austin Stogner. True freshman tight end, his first career touchdown, and Hurts delivered a dart from the pocket. Yeah, not, and really nice route by the freshman. I just want to make sure he held on to the football here. Look at Morse to the outside, back to the inside, and is able to hold on to that in traffic. A couple different defenders trying to get their hands on the ball. Really, really good timing there. It's a dream start in that first half for Brewer. And off the first play, it's Rambo. They try to involve it. That's a comfort zone for Jalen Hurts, and it gets Baylor maybe a little bit more on their heels. Dumps the ball off to Brooks out of the backfield. He's got first down yards. Lynch is a guy that goes almost 300 pounds, plays with a ton of finesse in his game. 
Perso escapes. They left a big lane for him, and the quarterback again moves the sticks first down across the 45. Now, this is a good job of recognizing blitz up the middle, and then you're going to see a lot of man-to-man -man coverage across the board. Watch how Jalen Hurts recognizes that. He sees this man clear out, this man blitzing, so he's got the alley right there to be able to take off and get yards. Clears out. The last thing you want to do is leave Jalen Hurts a chance to pick up yards like that. Hurts gets the ball out quickly, and the catch is made in the far side there by Morris. Play action. Hurts banged around in the pocket, delivers across Morris. Play action again. Hurts takes off on second down. He eludes one tackler. Forward Proctors will take him to the 21. Bears standing up, coming after Hurts again, gets it out, and has a crosser wide open, and Rambo slips a tackle, stutter steps, still alive, knocked down hard, but it's first and goal, Oklahoma. Now, we wondered who would win. That's a mix-up with a crossing route right here. He comes across. Nobody runs with him. They're in man-to-man, -man, but nobody stays with him. Shallow cross, Rambo, because he comes underneath, nobody, I thought Arnold, Arnold might run with him, but he doesn't. And Hurts was looking to run, now tries to fire in the end zone, caught, touchdown! Stodner, the tight end again, is becoming an unlikely touchdown scorer for this offense. That is a great throw by Jalen Hurts, bringing Stodner back. Pressure again by Big 93, James Lynch. But as he rolls out here, he's got to get rid of the ball and watch where he ends up locating and finding he brings it back away from the defense. Michael Hasty is the back. He's got the football. And he breaks free. Hasty, center step, loses it. Ball is out. And Oklahoma finally has a takeaway. Pat Fields recovers the fumble. They're going crazy over there because the five game takeaway drought is over. Cardinal Motley knocked the ball out of Hasty's hands. Uh, at first, I was about to say, boy, they. They, they, they let up a huge run, one of their veterans, Kenneth Murray, not real gap sound. They just let this play pop, watch this thing open up right through the middle, right here. Murray's got to make that play, right? Instead, he overruns it. Now they're in the open field. Now you got to count on a safety. They catch a break with Motley, the corner, ends up ripping the ball out, goes right into the hands of Fields, bounces up right there. As you said, Chris, first one since late September, but they get the ball back to the offense. They have fumble recovery against Texas Tech and nothing since. And ironically, Hasty wrapped up two hands on the ball just when Motley punched it out. Hurts on second down, looks to throw, fires near side, and the catch is made, holding on. Brooks finds a little crease. Hurts, pump fake. It's a straight run, and he plows for another first down. First down again, plenty of time. Hurts escapes, and he'll be knocked down after another. And Hurts has got it, trying to get the edge this time. Ducks down a yard short of the marker. From the 17, Hurts. Took a brief look downfield, shakes a tackle, and darts forward. Yep, quarterback takes off. You know it's coming, you can't stop it, it's first and goal. That is not the first clutch play that he's made, that forced fumble, and now Brewer. He, wouldn't you have had that feeling you that, Baylor had to lead? Uh-oh. It would have been a serious uh-oh. Now can the Bears offense get the rhythm back? Just gets it off. They come after him. It's a screen. Dumped down, and a nice open field play made to just slow down Levitt enough. Hurts keeps it on second down, waited to the last second to pull the ball out. They come after Hurts, it's picked up, he gets the ball out, and the catch is made in the fingertips by Lee Morris. A nice throw at first down, and a great throw. That time by Jalen Hurts again. Phil Snow decided to bring that pressure. Means he got one-on-one. -on -one. There's the linebackers. They give him enough time. They're closing in on him, but he sits in the pocket, puts it out there where Morris can get his hands up to make a play, and Morris 
Nice job of getting separation by against 22 JT Woods. That's execution. Wondered who would step up. CD Lamb is out. It's a nice job by Morris. Hurts now looking to throw on first down. Scanning will tuck it and takes another big hit. Pressure again. Hurts gets it out. Catch made by Weiss, who makes a man miss. Spinning free. Different suitors stepping up with Lamb out to get a first hand of the 48. He's got crossers here, kind of a mesh concept. He's trying to look downfield. This again requires the offensive line to be able to do a good job of giving him time. Here's his receiver that's clearing. That mesh route causes some traffic for the defense, makes it tough to stay with your man and man to man. And Henry Black that time got caught. Hertz takes off again, lowers the shoulder. He's recognizing either the ball out or take off and run for the scramble. Last play of the quarter, completion again. And this is Morris down to the 30. Hertz out of a two back look, flips it to Stevenson. He gets a block from Morris on the edge. Got to make the 20 to keep alive another long drive. Hurts fights forward. The spot would have made the difference. Rounding and pounding against this Baylor defense. It's a first down throw instead. And the catch is made by Weiss who spins the free and is going to score. And Oklahoma cutting the lead to just one score. As the freshman from Allen scores for just the second time this season. Here come the Sooners. It's a wink of the eye there by Jalen Hurst. Lincoln Riley told us this week on our call, it's a matter of time to these younger freshmen start to make plays in this offense to answer. And Brewer. Who was such an effective runner in the first half is going to be swallowed up by Ronnie Perkins and that loss will make it third and long. But well, they did a nice job here this time taking away that quarterback draw adjustments because in the first half there's the play that was effective. This time getting off of blocks. Perkins does a nice job. And it's time for the pocket delivers a long throw and it's dropped. Bobbling the ball was Tyquan Thornton. But now, another touchdown that can get dead even from the 23. Pass slipped to Rambo in the flat, and he weaves his way for about a 10-yard gain. Crowd just imploring this Baylor defense to get a stop. Hurts to the three-man rush, has plenty of time. Brooks makes a man miss, and they move the sticks again. An open field tackle missed, and the running back makes a play. What did they tell us in the meeting? Biggest thing they've got to do is tackle in the open field. Here's an opportunity coming in with a lot of speed with Blake Lynch, but unable to make that play. And now Hurts from the pocket looks to launch it down the field, dumps it off to Brooks, who is stopped. As a blocker, Brooks leads him. Hurts third in the yard. Brooks, first down. Makes a cut, wrestled down 43 for Baylor. Just seven in the second half so far for the Bears. Play action, slant, catch made by Hazelwood. First and 10 inside the 20. Another freshman. CD Lamb is down. Who's going to step up? How about the freshman Hazelwood? Soft coverage that time against Houston. Blake Blank at four. Hertz zips it far side against a cushion. Miller makes a catch, and the veteran knocked out at the 11. You, know, you saw him see empty. He looks at coverage. He makes a check. The reason he went to that is because you have one defensive back, and you've got two receivers out here. They can't cover both. So he sees that. That's that experience again that you get with Jalen Hurts, recognizing that. Didn't look over the sidelines for help. He saw that on his own, saw a two-on-one situation back into the boundary and capitalizes on some good yards. Two back look on second and two. Handoff. Brooks knocked down. You're talking about a team without his playmaker. This is a high pressure game, but nothing that he hasn't been through throughout his career. Still got it. Flips it in the flat. Gets made by Stevenson. Overall. 
Hurts rolls, looks for the end zone, touchdown, wide open is Braden Willis, Oklahoma, a PAT away from tying the football game. Safety's eyes got affected here. Going to have a tight end work outside, work out here, watch this safety and this safety, watch their eyes get caught up in Jalen Hurts and jet motion. Nobody picks up the tight end, it's sliding. He's been a master in tight games in the fourth quarter. With a handoff to Ebner, back there getting back healthy to hope he can make some big plays tonight, but he's been hemmed in, Murray and Perkins on the stop. Again, it's Motley in coverage, Brewer. Looking the other direction, now tries to spin free, chased by Perkins, looking for a man, fires in the sideline, it's incomplete. Brewer has time, looks for Mims down the sideline, just over his outstretched hands, they had two men covering him. Oklahoma had only given up 10 all year. On second and long, Brooks on the edge, slips a tackle, and is in the clear. Kennedy Brooks rolling into Baylor territory to the 45. This power read. Nice job by Hurts reading this, getting him outside. Now you need receivers to block. They do their job, man. All three of them pick up nice blocks downfield. So instead of an 8 to 10 yard gain, he's able to pick up 20 or 30. Yeah, it's a 32 yard run. And Oklahoma. After trailing 25, threatening now to take the lead, Hurts again escapes and has room and runs straight north and south and slides for a first down at the 34. But you blitz one linebacker and the other one gets caught up in man coverage. Here is a blitz and watch him in coverage. He puts his back to Jalen Hurts. You get one blitz. Now you've got nobody left, right? There's nobody in the middle of the field. If you don't get to him, you're in trouble. Big cushions for these Oklahoma receivers. And Hurts flips it over the middle, catch made in traffic by Morris, who's going to have first down yardage. Brooks, hard hitting run, 31 yards for the lead. No problem for the freshman, still perfect on the season, and Oklahoma is in front. And now Charlie Brewer is going to have to try to lead yet another come from behind drive. This was routine for the young guy. Brewer has made a specialty of this five times in his career. Had come from behind drives in the fourth quarter. That doesn't count two other drives when he got him down and they got to overtime and won the game. Black winning again inside of 40 seconds is Brewer from the pocket, looks across the middle, almost intercepted. Had it in the hands and dropped it. Nick Benito, the linebacker, could have sealed it right there. But he's, Benito's been, he's been rushing as a defensive end. I think he surprises Brewer by instead of rushing, he just kind of sinks in coverage. And he throws it right to him. Completely catches Brewer off guard with a changeup. Instead of 35 rushing the quarterback, he kind of a zone pressure where he settles back in coverage. Brewer almost bobbled the snap. Now fires, and this one is intercepted. Given a second chance, Benito makes the pick. And a takeaway of all things is going to seal a massive comeback victory for Oklahoma. Five games that a takeaway. They had two enormous takeaways in the second half. Benito sprints down to the corner with the Suter fans are going to celebrate a sweet comeback from 25 down. I just talked about how he's been rushing Benito all game long. Lincoln Riley fired up. They do it again. He's right here. Instead again of pressuring, this time he's just going to settle back the right place at the right time. Gets right into that throwing lane. Those long arms, he's able to extend out and come up with that interception. Watch him reach out to make that play. Back-to-back -back plays where Brewer makes mental errors, doesn't recognize the rushing linebacker settling in coverage, throws it right to him twice, and he picks off the second one. And a quarterback who in his career here has been so cool and calm under pressure. Makes the mistake. There'll be no perfect season for Baylor.
and Oklahoma, which looked to be in deep, deep trouble. Down 25 without CeeDee Lamb tonight. They basically reinvented their offense from a quick strike to grind it out, and Jalen Hurts' toughness was on display. He ran it 27 times tonight for 114.